hell. Those who assert what is not true go to hell, as do those who deny what they've done. Both these people of base deeds become equal after death in the world beyond. Many who wear the saffron robe have evil traits and lack restraint. By their evil deeds are these wicked people reborn in hell. Better to eat a flaming red-hot iron ball than to be an immoral and unrestrained person feeding on the alms food of the people. Four results come to the careless person who consorts with the spouse of another. Demerit, disturb sleep, disgrace, and hell. For the frightened pair, delight is brief, and then comes demerit, rebirth in an evil state, and harsh punishment from the king. Therefore a person should not consort with another's spouse. Just as kusha grass cuts the hand that wrongly grasps it, so the renunciate life, if wrongly grasped, drags one down to hell. A lax act, corrupt practice, or chaste life lived dubiously doesn't bear much fruit. With steady effort, one should do what is to be done, because the lax renunciate stirs up even more dust. A foul deed is best not done. The foul deed torments one later. A good deed is best done, for having done it, one has no regret. Just as a fortified city is guarded inside and out, so guard yourself. Don't let a moment pass you by. Those who let the moments pass grieve when they're consigned to hell. Ashamed of what's not shameful, and not ashamed of what is, those who take up wrong views go to a bad rebirth. Seeing danger in what's not dangerous, and not seeing danger in what is, those who take up wrong views go to a bad rebirth. Finding fault in what's not at fault, and seeing no fault in what is, those who take up wrong views go to a bad rebirth. But knowing fault as fault, and the faultless as the faultless, those who take up right views go to a good rebirth.